I've not uploaded a video. I, sh I really should have looked. I think it's been... It could possibly be six months. It could be. I'm not sure, really. It could be six months since I've uploaded a video. But... We'll move. Um... What's the date? Let me check. Oh. It's the 12th of... Hmm, it's Monday the 12th of July. Which means that England lost the Euros yesterday. I really wanted them to win. I'm gutted. But I saw a TikTok that said we'll lose tonight. It literally said it was uploaded. When was it uploaded? A couple of days before. And it said we'll lose the semi finals, but we'll win the World Cup because it's something to do if we come fourth last time. So we should come second last time. I don't. I, I didn't really understand it, but my room is an absolute shit. That pen is out of date. I don't know. Um, right. Why does Apple just give you this? Do you, like, they want me to pay an extra, that is why. They want me to pay an extra £35 for a bloody charger to be able to charge my phone that I've spent, like, a million pound on. This is dead too. Oh, I just need to charge everything up. What badge is this? And that's badge is old. Oh. Did I even say what video I'm filming? I'm filming a day in life, I think. I'm in isolation. I've been in isolation since the 7th of July. It was my birthday on the 8th of July. So I've been in isolation for over my birthday. And I've done fuck all every day. Um, this is my scab. Um, I have filmed a couple videos. But I don't feel like... I don't know about posting them because... One of them was a reacting to that video that I filmed a year ago. But that whole video, I was talking about my ex-boyfriend. And I really think that was really boring. Like, I don't know how it got, like, 50 views. And if you're some random person that has just watched this channel, which you probably aren't, 50 views is actually quite a lot for me. So, you know. Um... It was literally the most boring video. Like, anyone who watched that, I literally feel sorry for you. Um, so I could upload that, but that is boring. And I'm trying not to be boring when I upload now. I've been filming for three minutes of talk shit. So, I don't know. Um, what was I going to say? I filmed, before I finished college, Tegan Taylor and I did some science experiments that failed. And I've got clips of that. But I'm too lazy to edit it. So maybe eventually I'll upload that. Um, and then I also have clips that I've filmed through the last few months of college. But they're pretty boring too. Because I don't get the jokes that we were joking about. So at the time it was funny. But now I don't find it funny. But we move, it's fine. Half a condom wrapper on the floor. Don't think that's very appropriate to have. I come out. When do I come out? It's Monday today. I have one more. I have. Do you count this day? I have one more day if you don't count. I've got this adjustable ring. It's a birthstone ring for my um birthday from my sister. And I literally haven't had it on for two days. And I've forgotten how to use it. I think I need to tie it. But I tightened it too much the other day. I have this one, it's from Pandora. I had that one. Oh, I got them for Christmas. 18? Year 11? I think. I don't know. And then Leon got me a necklace. This Tiffany & Co necklace. That's in L on it because it was a cutie. I'm having a dilemma. So basically, 
These are my shirts. I went to college. Well, I don't wear to college. I wear in the restaurant. But we're having a whole new restaurant renovation. I do not know why I'm wearing this. I'm sweating. So I'm like, do I get rid of these? Do I put these in someone else's wardrobe? I'm just going to do it. Because I need the hangers. But then again... So basically, I ordered these off Amazon. I have these. And then I have these. I've got another pack of these under my bed somewhere, I'm pretty sure. I don't have another pack of these. So I'm thinking... Like... Getting rid of those shirts isn't really going to save me anything because I need to hang up these trousers because I don't have any more of these. But... That's really stupid. I've got another packet that I can literally just unwrap. I don't really think anything. I don't know. There's two skirts. One's a size um, 12 to 13. Because I'm really short. And it's too long for me. The only thing is, it should fit me now because... I've lost weight since then. When I came back after Chris, back after lockdown, um, third lockdown, I was a bit tight and I found it uncomfortable. So I started wearing these trousers. But maybe I'll start wearing my skirt again. I'm not sure. Right. So this is college stuff. And I'll have new shirts to hang up when we get them. My other thing is, I bought this from TK Maxx because I've been eyeing up one for ages for zara got it for 15 pound but the inside is so itchy like on my arms so but i've not worn it yet i think i will wear it i think it will look cute obviously i've just not left my house yet but i hang up all my jump well i hang up all my jumpers um just because my drawers are too full. <laughs> that is why um, I hang up my jumpers. I need a place to get flares for short people. I'm not petite. Bear in mind, actually, no. Where is it? This one is petite size 8. Normally if I'm petite, I'm a smaller size. Explain to me. I presume if I was petite, I'd have to go for a size 12. Because it's meant to be for smaller people. But I don't. I generally can fit in a size 8 T, And I don't understand. So I'm now in the kitchen. Um, looking what I want for lunch. I had to um, text my mum. Asking if I can have some leftover spag bowl. That's in the fridge because I don't want to eat something that's meant for my sister's dinner. Because I did that once. And that wasn't good. Um, so I don't know what to do. In the meantime, there's some cocktail sausages and I really want them, but I don't know if I'm allowed to eat them. Surely I must be allowed to eat them. Uh, that's macaroni and cheese. This is our fridge. I'm one of those pies, but I know that's for my lunch on the first day when I have work. Oh, cheesecake. I was on a phone call saying so that I'm going to get fined, so I just ignored it. Um, Because, right, you're in the fridge, but ignore the vegan butter. I'm not a vegan. Um, anyways, basically, there's been lots of, um, this is warning, warning, warning. Right, so most of you probably are aware. I don't actually know. Maybe you're not. Maybe that's why I'm saying it. Basically, if Royal Mail texts you saying you need to pay a fine, do not pay a fine. Oh, okay? Do not, do not, not a fine. Pay delivery costs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because I've been saying for months I've been getting these messages, yeah? And I've just been ignoring them. Doesn't matter if I've had a parcel nearly ordered or whatever. I've, I've not done it. Um, Leon, my stepdad, he paid one. Even though I told him not to. And he had money come out of his account. So, um, and that's what they do, and then they ring you. 
yeah so luckily i told him because i watched a thing on the news about it like literally the other day when i i overheard him have a conversation with his bank saying these transactions come through i don't i don't know i haven't paid for these things and then like literally the next day i watched him on this morning and um they said that's what they do they take it out and then they ring you and then they pretend to be a bank and they want you to make sure your money's safe so they transfer your money to a different account, yeah? No, they're transferring it to their account and then if you don't want it, if you are checking the number, you ring it and it will come up as your bank's number or like if you Google it or whatever, apparently it comes up as your bank's number. How scary is that? So just don't pay anything. And when someone says to you, you're gonna go to prison, yeah? Well, I think if I was going to go to prison, the policeman would be at my door, not ringing me. Don't you think? I know. The rant. This video is already 16 minutes long. And I'm pretty sure. These are so Moorish. Can someone go to like, a supermarket and bring me cocktail sausages? What was I saying? This minute, this minute is only 16 minutes long, and I swear to post it on YouTube, it has to be like 15. Oh well. I'll cut out the boring bits. Oh, raspberries? Anyone? I don't like raspberries. This is what I want to eat. I'll show you what I want to eat. That's barely anything. But I still want to eat it. Cheesecake. I'm gonna have some cheesecake. Oh my god, everything's falling out of the fridge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, everything's falling. I'm just gonna cook this. I don't even care anymore. There's literally a mouthful. She can have my steak pie if she's that pressed about it. So, welcome to Cooking the Belly. So, today I'm going to make spaghetti bolognese with no spaghetti because I'm going to cook my pasta in the microwave. I always do wrong. This is our pasta. Some, that guy off TikTok will be really annoyed because we have so many different types of pasta in here. Anyways, I'm going to do... There's literally barely any mint, but... I'm gonna do like that much. Pretty sure that's like whole grain pasta. Health Queen. And I'm gonna cover it with water until like a fingernail over the top. I'm gonna put this lid on. It's a bit broken. I don't. Everyone tells me I've got it. I'm gonna put it in a spike for 15 minutes. Yep, there. Now I've got the taste of sausage rolls in my mouth. Sausage in my mouth, and I want each of them. And then I'll cook this for like two minutes when that's done. So, the pasta's ready. My mint is just pinged. I'm still eating cheesecake. Um, I buttered some bread. I, I should have made garlic bread. I'm regretting not making garlic bread. But. Oh well. Can't dwell on the bad things. That looks like a really small portion. Anyone that knows me knows that that one literally be gone in 30 seconds. Um, and then I'll be back to finish this cheesecake. I'm watching Joan the Virgin. I feel like I look like crap. Like literally. I don't know what to do about it. It's like... Mm, what time is it? I don't know. I cannot find out. Does the telly tell you the time? No. No. <gasps> I might if I go on proper telly.
The time is 26 minutes past three. Which means I haven't filmed in like three and a half hours. But I've watched TikToks. Actually, no, I've watched YouTube for a little bit. But today, it's been boring. If I find out that you've watched this video and you've not liked it, well, 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 you would not be getting a birthday present, okay? Bye.